Hey everyone, my name is Lisa Ann and today I'll be talking to you about how to use IGTV for your business. So Instagram is a big deal and therefore IGTV, it's just as big of a deal. But it's not a surprise that many people still don't know how to use it when it comes to marketing their business online. Now having an online presence is an essential part of growing a business and one way to develop that presence is to be active on the social media platforms that matter most to your audience. Almost all businesses use social media for different but specific reasons. They may want to promote their products or services, or maybe they just want to answer some common questions that their current customers or even their prospects may have. Or maybe they just have a desire to get a large following and be the most popular new credit on the block. Really, it depends. But in the sea of social media, there are so many fish out there. But really, there are three big fish that matter most, and Instagram is one of them. So IGTV is an extension of Instagram, and I'll be educating you on how to leverage the platform for your business or your brand. It's undeniable that videos is the most engaging, the most effective, and the most popular type of content that people consume today. Can you move an audience with just text, images, or music alone? Of course you can, but the power with videos, that is when you truly are going to be able to multiply your effects. In the past, Instagram really didn't have much to offer when it came to videos. It would really just support one minute or less, but really nothing beyond that. But obviously since YouTube and Facebook are the empires with social media, it was really only a matter of time before YouTube and Instagram and all the other platforms really just started to focus on those one key elements of videos. As you're following Instagram, it really just kind of was that next step for their business to evolve. So video is queen or even king. So a platform that used to be around or designed around just photos, it really, really has changed up the game by introducing IGTV. So let's get right into it. What exactly is IGTV? So IGTV, it stands for Instagram TV. It was launched by Instagram in June of 2018 and it's accessible on both Instagram and on its standalone app, which you can download from your app store. It basically is allowing users to make longer videos and provides you with more of an intuitive navigation to not only optimize, but even to beautify your videos. With IGTV, regular users can upload up to 10 minute videos while verified accounts with large followings or those blue check marks, you can actually post up to one hour videos. All you need to do is create an IGTV channel, which would be attached to your already established Instagram account. So IGTV, it can be accessed on your Instagram app, on its own standalone app, or even through your Facebook page. Now I'll tell you exactly how to find your way around each individual method. So let's get into how to do it if you're using your Instagram app. There are two ways that you can do this. First is directly by clicking on that plus button right up below your newsfeed. Then what you would do is select a video from your gallery, then click the next button on that top right hand corner. You'll actually be prompted with two options to share your video. You can do a short video or a long video. So for IGTV, you must choose the long video option. This will post your video on IGTV and not on your Instagram feed. Now, once you do that, and once you select that long option, you're next gonna choose the cover that you want to use for your video. You can choose from either one of the still frames of your videos or even from your phone's gallery in case you designed one yourself. The final step is to fill in the title in the description of your video. Now you can also opt to post a preview of your video to your Instagram feed and to make it visible on Facebook. Then when all those steps have been fulfilled, just tap on that post button on the top right hand corner. Now the second way to post a video on IGTV using your Instagram app is by clicking on that search button below your newsfeed. So just beside that plus icon, the little magnifying glass. On the top left, you will see the IGTV tabs as well as several other tabs such as shop and travel. Just click on that IGTV tab. 
Now in the top corner, click on that plus icon. Then choose the video you want to upload, then click on that next button. The next step goes directly to choosing that image that you want to use for your video. Again, you can choose from the still frames of the video or from the gallery on your phone. When you've done that, click on next. And finally, same as before, just fill in the title and description for your video. Select other options that you want for your video, like posting a preview of it on your feed or even cross posting it to your Facebook account. Now, once everything is set up, just tap the post button. And this method basically just eliminates that prompt to choose between the long videos versus the short video sharing options. Now, the difference between the two is really just the short is for Instagram only. Meanwhile, the long, even if it's in actually the video is not long, just indicates to Instagram that you want it to be posted on IGTV specifically. So regardless of the length, just choose that long form for IGTV. Now, if you prefer to use their standalone IGTV app, the steps are actually quite simple and very similar to the ones that we just discussed prior. The first step, obviously, download the IGTV app. It's available on your, both your Android or your iOS device. So once you download it, make sure you open up the app and log in. If you are currently logged into the Instagram app, just click on that continue as button and it will actually automatically log you in based on what you've logged in on the Instagram. On the top left corner, you'll see a little camera icon. Click on that. Then you'll see IGTV hands-free pop up. You'll be able to see yourself from the front camera but you're also given that option to upload a video of your own from your gallery. If you don't want to film right on the spot, this totally depends on you and your style. If not, click on that bottom left corner to get into your gallery. Then choose the video that you want to upload. Then click that simple next button. The next step is to choose that cover image for your video. And again, you can either choose from the still frames of the video or upload one that you've created. Maybe you've created one on Canva. On YouTube, we actually call this a video thumbnail. I'm not sure why Instagram didn't go with the more appropriate term for this one, but it is what it is. But simply just click on next after you chose your image. Finally, same as before, just fill in the title and description for your video. Select the other options that you want for your video, like the preview on your feed or even posting it to your Facebook account. Now, once everything is set up, just tap on that post button, then it's all set up. Now, if working on your phone feels limiting for you and you prefer to sit down in front of your camera like it's $19.99 again, don't worry, you still have options for IGTV as well. So option number one is using Facebook Creator Studio. The same way that Google and YouTube are one is the exact same way that Facebook and Instagram are one. So Facebook, in an attempt to make Instagram and IGTV features a lot more accessible to non-traditional Instagram users, they actually created a dashboard for users within Facebook's websites for IGTV. I think it was probably a really smart move for Google or for Facebook. I love it because it just keeps everything in one spot. Now finding the Creator Studio, it may not be really straightforward from Facebook's homepage. So what I would do is actually just type in the search bar, Facebook Creator Studio. You can also type that into Google, or if you just want the URL, it's business.facebook.com slash Creator Studio. Now keep in mind that you should connect your Instagram account to your Creator Studio account before you follow along with this step. Now option number two is using Instagram on your desktop. You can access the ability to upload videos by going to your profile page and then just selecting that IGTV tab. From there, you'll be able to upload your videos to your IGTV channel straight from your desktop. So you have about five different ways to upload your video content onto IGTV. So of course, if you have any questions, let me know. But now that we've covered the how and how to upload your content onto IGTV, let's talk about some best practices to follow and some guidelines so you can make the most out of your social media digital marketing strategy with IGTV. So I'm gonna make this portion as quick as possible and to the point as possible. So make sure you take some notes so that you can keep these in mind for next time you're either doing a new video or even if you're just planning out your content strategy for your business Instagram channel. So let's talk about your video duration. 
Your videos can be as short as 15 seconds long and up to a maximum of 10 minute longs. But if you're a rock star on Instagram and you have a massive following with a verified account, you can post up to an hour long. Now a verified account is that blue check mark right beside your name. Now keep in mind, shorter content still performs better overall on Instagram. Five minutes have been said to be that adequate sweet spot for Instagram. So if you have a video under one minute, the only thing that you won't be able to do is post a preview on your feed. So keep that in mind that only videos that are a minimum of 60 seconds are eligible for a post preview, meaning it'll post it on your feed. Now let's dive into some of the unique features that you should definitely take advantage of. You'll want to be utilizing the post previews every single time you roll out your content. It really, it's just silly not to. This is what will drive people to your IGTV and get them to consume your content. You can delete posts previous on the Instagram app if and when needed without actually deleting it from your IGTV. So if you post something on your feed and you no longer want it there, just delete it. Now to further push the boundaries of your content visibility, you should also be posting this video as your story. Take the time to obviously properly optimize your video for your maximized results. Now, when you're doing your titles, your keywords and your hashtag research, if you do that ahead of time, it will really just put you ahead of your competitors and will help you make more substantial content. A video description is a must, so please don't be lazy and don't miss it. Do it right or really just don't do it at all in my opinion. It's unrealistic to have high expectations if you're not making an equal effort. In my opinion, it's about working smart, not working hard. So don't hesitate to also include a clickable link in your description to either send them to your website or to a landing page. But you definitely want to keep your URL short. Nothing long, nothing hard to remember. If you're using something that is a really long link, use a subdomain versus using your bit.ly. Now remember, you're continuously building your brand and you're branding yourself, so same thing with your links. Now let's talk about how do you make your videos look decent? First of all, dress to impress, seriously. Look nice, iron your shirt, comb your hair, whatever you have to do to look nice. I have seen countless Zoom meetings that sometimes we even call to an epic pajama party some people just show up like they just rolled out of bed. But just because you're virtual doesn't mean appearances don't matter. If anything, they actually matter more. What people see of you is limited, so they tend to zone in on certain aspects of your appearance. It doesn't make them awful or make them superficial people, but it's what happens. It's how we react. When provided with less visual data than we've obviously experienced in person or in, in real life, People are paying attention. Another thing, let's talk about your intros and outros. If you're using something regularly and being consistent, people like familiarity. So make sure that you have an intro and outro to your videos and make sure that it's spot on and really just stick to the script. Let's talk about your analytics. You don't wanna be intimidated by your analytics. Browse your analytics like you would at closed at a store. If you're not sure, if you're not ready to purchase yet, don't worry, you're just kind of browsing. You're gonna to wanna to give it some time to start to pick up on either what it means or also what features you wanna focus on for your audience specifically. But don't be discouraged and allow yourself to be met with defeat when you witness a video that didn't go so well. All you have to do is just consider what you can refine, what tweaks you can make in order to improve that video for next time. Now you will lose the most momentum when you stop making content, period. Time will give you space to improve. So be intentional and creative in your call to actions. That way you can position the end of your video correctly. And of course, switch up some of the language that you use. Make it fun, make it engaging. You can also make videos in segments to give people something to look forward to or a reason to keep coming back to your channel but you don't wanna to do too many different segments. Sometimes it's just a matter of doing one video, posting it, but moderation is key. But remember, marketing a business is nothing like it was years ago. In the past, we did newspapers ads, we did radio ads, and they worked wonders. After that, we focused more on having a website, using business directories, interviews, articles, making sure your backlinks are all done. That is not the case today. 
With social media, our list of responsibilities have easily tripled. But don't worry, there are options to automate your content and really to utilize planning tactics where the work really becomes and feels feasible. Digital marketing takes time. And if you need a marketing strategist, it is what I do professionally full time. So if you need any help, I'm always here to help. There are a lot of these apps that are innovative and provide you with unique ways to reach and engage with your audience. But an effective digital marketing strategy, it's not something that's easy. It's not a matter of clicking a button and being rich overnight. Remember that when you study these things, that the best thing that you can do is just start. IGTV for businesses and for brands is a must in the virtual social world. Adapt as best you can, but make certain that you adapt. That's my biggest piece of advice. And remember that practice makes perfect for videos. But of course, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below on what you found to either be the most interesting in this video or even the most intimidating when it comes to IGTV. If you've learned something today, hit that like button. And if you want to further expand your knowledge of digital marketing and social media, subscribe to my channel to be the first to know when new videos are released. Share this video with other entrepreneurs or business owners that you know would benefit from this information. It's not only helps them learn, but it also helps me grow my channel organically. And why is that relevant? Well, because the more people that see my videos, the more people that like it, the more people that will watch it, it will allow me to reach more people for free. But of course, I'll leave it there and I'll see you next time. Same place. Bye for now.